。あ、こけた、こけた。ちょっと待って、まだ準備できてないぞ。準備できてないよ。<笑> Hey guys, on Ash Japanese, this is Katakat, and today from the depths of jungles of Tokyo. Now, you know, Japanese people are being quiet and nice and shy and all of that, but Japanese people can get angry too. Anger is a human emotion, but they are the masters at hiding it. In fact, Japanese people can be so subtle with their emotions that you might totally miss the fact that they're super angry at you, and that way you can ruin it with your friends, with potential dates, or partners, or even your wife. So don't miss these things. So let's go. Five subtle hints that Japanese people are angry with you. Number one, もっと早く言ってくれればよかったのに。Imagine the situation you were supposed to go on a date with a cute person, and what happens though is you realized last minute on the day itself, oh my gosh, you got tickets to that musical where you're going with your friends, and you cancel on them last minute. So, in that point, in that situation, he or she, they might come to you and say, Motta haya me ni itte kureleba yukatta no ni. Which pretty much translates means, I wish you told me this earlier, it would have been great if you could have told me this earlier. Now, that doesn't sound angry to you, does it? No, but it is. Don't forget, Japanese culture is a culture of harmony, so you won't go, Oh, come on, you could have told me that earlier. You might say it in a nice way, but actually want the other person to realize that they kind of messed up there. So, could actually express that they're really disappointed. In Japan, canceling on someone last minute is really, really not appreciated. So, for example, if you promise to meet someone and you cancel on the same day, they call it dotakyan. Meaning you'd cancel on them on the same day, which is like the worst way of getting told to that something's not happening. Always, always, always keep in mind Japanese people are extremely busy. The students, they have like several ac extracurricular activities after school. They have maybe some classes in ballet, music, piano, you call it. And people who work, they work a lot. They work extra overtime, maybe even unpaid or less paid overtime. They have a lot of things to do. So if they take their time to meet you and see you, you need to live, step that one up and actually go out and meet them. And don't cancel on them last minute is really one of the worst things you can do. With many things like that, the person might actually say, Oh, it's fine, don't worry. You could have told me earlier, but it's fine. But it's really not fine to the point of that they might actually not want to see you again. I heard that a couple of times. People will say it's fine, and it's so much not fine that we'll never ever see you for a date again. So don't turn the now last minute. If you have tickets for a concert or a musical with your friends, maybe see that you get an extra one and get that, invite that person in, introduce her or him to your friends, similar things like that. But don't cancel last minute. They'll be angry. Japan is a big city and people have to live together in a very close environment. So you avoid friction, you avoid direct confrontation, you avoid shouting at people, throwing stuff at people, outrageous behavior, and you avoid actually getting physical as well. But you can still get very angry. Number two, so it the good to arigatai desu. This I can explain to you guys on a situation that happened with me and the director of Ask Japanese. We were out in the hydrangeas, it was about a year ago, shooting in a park for hydrangeas, and we had wonderful pictures there up on our Instagram. Be sure to check that one out. Anyways, what happened is the director put down the camera he's filming with right now, very expensive thing, carefully on the ground on the side of the street, and picked up his other camera with which he takes Instagram pictures to come and take pictures of me. There was a guy who was pushing his bike. He was like on pushing the bike around and he stared at me and kept walking and just staring and walking and staring. So he didn't look what it was in front of him. His bike drifted to the side of the street and he ran over this super expensive camera that we're filming with. The director was screaming. So we were instantly scared that we can't take us Japanese videos anymore. But、uh, the guy that ran over our camera, instead of saying, whoops, sorry, he was what, like, whoops, well, you shouldn't have put it there in the first place. So he was not sorry. <laughs> And so the director picked up the camera carefully with both hands. Actually, the director was fuming. He was super angry, but because he said it in a polite way, there was no way the other man could pick that up as an offense and start a fight, right? So the director managed to express that he's super angry. Yes, putting out the sirens that he's super angry, but without actually starting a conversation or a discussion or a fight that would lead, maybe lead to problems. You know, maybe you know, the, guy, the other guy will go and start punching him or whatever. You can avoid it that way by being very sarcastic, because he didn't say anything that would bring an offense, but at the same time, he managed to express that he wasn't happy with that non apology. 
Number three. Tung tung. Japanese people can get angry in very subtle ways, but if they say pretty much meaning if you do that, I'll go pum pum, which pretty much means I'll be grumpy or I'll be not be happy or I'll be a little bit angry with you. If you've ever seen a Japanese drama or a Japanese anime or manga, when an anime girl would do this, blow up, puff up her lips like this, so she has like big puffy cheeks, that is called pum pum. Japanese kids do too. It's kind of a childish expression of being angry, kind of like puff puff, I am angry, puh, 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 puh. that kind of sound that you can associate with me. It's more of an onomatopoeia and that's actually a thing of people very subtly saying, I would be angry if you did that, well I'm a little bit angry, but it's not in the whoa I'm angry with you more in the little bit, ah oh, no that's not cool kind of thing, so you can maybe make it up to them. Number four, Jotto Jotto. Now imagine a situation you've been standing in front of your favorite restaurant for about like half an hour because they're really good. They do like the best sushi that you know in town. And you look down at your wallet to see if you have enough money to maybe treat your date. And you look up and suddenly someone cut into line. They must have, you're not quite sure whether they did that on purpose or they kind of just didn't look at you when they stood in line. So you say, jotto jotto, which pretty much means hold on. Like, hey, hold on. That's all. Jotto jotto is generally used to call people out on something. So for example, if someone cuts in line or does something, maybe they might not have done it on purpose, but just because they weren't really caring, you know, paying attention or similar things like that. Or if someone is walking way too close to you because they're checking out their smartphone or similar things like that. Or in trains, when people do something that is not on, you call them generally out with saying jotto jotto, which pretty much just mean like, hold on, or hey, hey, hey there, hold on. And that is usually there to kind of make people realize what they're doing. So it's not too confrontational, but it's a good way of calling people out without going hey what are you doing in front of me in the line i'm so angry at you kind of thing and jotto jotto is helpful in that way because it's two little small worlds and you're not accusing anyone of anyone just yet also what might happen if you are standing in line or if it's for example at a convenience store i had a lot of times where people were just cutting the line in front of me and i would just go all right Sometimes I'll just let it slide because I don't want to be that kind of foreigner. But what then the staff will say, ah, okyaksamo jinbani anaishimas, meaning I call our guests or customers to the register in the order they were waiting in line, which means sometimes the staff will see that and help you. So there's no reason to get really angry if you're about to get boom boom yourself. Maybe just say jotto jotto and people will realize that they've done something wrong and sort it out themselves. Number five, mo shiranai. So that is one that, for example, can happen. You're on a restaurant and you're just about to decide what food to get. You're like, mm, shall I get the A menu or shall I get the B menu? And you keep talking with your friend or your significant other and asking, mm, A menu has this, but me, B menu has that. And you just really can't make up your mind. So just when the waiter comes in <laughs> and asks you what you want to order, you go what? Turn around to him or her and go like, how about I should just get the C menu? What do you think? In that situation, they might say, Mo shiranai, which pretty much means, I don't care anymore, like, you sort that out yourself. So Japanese people are really, 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 really patient, but that's the moment when you know you've exasperated their patience and you really need to sort that out yourself. Don't go there. Don't, don't overstretch that patience. <laughs> Bonus round, number six. Ikage ni shinasai! Now with the other words, you might have not quite known that you're in trouble, but with ikage ni shinasai, you know you are in trouble. Things are gonna calm down. That's the word that, for example, mothers use to reprimand their kids. So if the kids are lying around going crazy and she told them off a couple of times and they still haven't listened, that's the point when ikage ni shinasai comes in. Ikage ni shinasai! Otsukaresama desu! Are uh, those explanations of how they're angry subtle? Yes, they are. But you, if you come to Japan or if you want to date a Japanese person, should know about these to avoid being the foreigner who thinks everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're doing great. Yeah, I came late and she was totally fine with it. No, she's not. So be sure that you watch out for these very, very subtle signs of when Japanese people are angry. Now, next time we might do a word or, or introduce you to a couple of words that actually express proper anger and similar things like that. If you want to, that is though. So 
please let us know in the comments down below if you want to hear proper Japanese fight words when people really, really step on each other's toes and uh, cause some ruckus or a fight. Let us know in the comments down below if you would want to see a video like that. And then if you do, we might make one like that. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment if you want that. Confrontational Japanese vocabulary and stories for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you soon for more stuff from Tokyo with Ask Japanese. Bye! News? What news? What? 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 What's up this time? What did you find? No!